Hi, Nick. Hey, Matt. <laughs> what, are, what are we playing? <laughs> oh, God. Star Trek, the video game. Ugh. Uh, I, it's probably got your saves. Oh, they does must it? Be, they must be cloud saves, because it says continue. Okay. Let's play as Kirk. Not that it really matters. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, it does. It. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, whatever. Are we playing as Kirk just so we can tell Spock to do things? Yeah, so we can Spock lock. <laughs> so we can Spock lock. Uh, Spock attack. That's my favorite one. Yeah. Uh, so... I haven't played this game, you've been playing this game, and this game looks real bad. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, some of these are locked, though, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's whatever you... Is this as far as you play? Oh, no, I've played way past this. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, whatever, just Let's pick see, one. Yeah. They're all gonna be... Equally as... Crappy crap. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So I had this looks interesting. You would be best served hacking that mine to disable it. Actually, Spock, you're going to hack it. Oh, hacking. This game is hacking, huh? Yeah. How do you play this game? I, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah. Spock bypass. Yeah, the the mini games really suck. Uh, I don't even do them anymore. I make Spock do them. Wait, it is, makes you play a mini game to hack stuff. Uh, well, some of them. I don't know. Is that hacked? No, it says Spock move two. Okay. Maybe it'll blow him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing, Spock? About to... <laughs> nice. Did the trick, at least. I don't need any... It would be awesome if Energy. when you made Spock, like when you were ducking and Spock is ducking also. Yeah. If it, uh, I have not. I gotta be here somewhere. If he was in that weird pose he does in the movie. Oh. He goes into the teleporter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Oops. I'm gonna have to reach across you for a second. And, That's uh, okay. Turn the volume down just a smidge. Really loud for me. Is it? Is that okay for you? That's fine. Yep. It's actually still really loud. <laughs> Professionals. Yep. Um. Oop. So I had, you know, perhaps naive hopes when this game was in development. Yeah, that I tried to tell maybe, you. Maybe. Oh, I guess I'm doing it now. That's this is good in combat. Yep. This stupid thing. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna point out the obvious here. They made Star Trek into a third-person cover-based shooter. Well, yeah. Where you fight space velociraptors. Because that that's the much... first genre that pops into my head when I Oops. think about Star Trek. What? What is... That would be... Is that a Star Trek zombie? That would be a Star Trek zombie. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and all, all of the... The... The stupidness of this game could be forgiven if it was actually fun, uh, which it most certainly is not. <laughs> Spock hack. See we can do about that concert. Uh, so it really ends up just being a completely unforgivable game experience. So it's not even a competent third-person shooter. No, it's not fun. It's step. not interesting. Find the remaining sample and continue with our mission. That it's. Hey, Spock, let's find it. His run animation is really bad. Yeah. Well, <laughs> his arms. If, like if you want to, if you want to start there, I mean, that's <laughs> not the first nor last thing that's really bad about this game. <laughs> his arms look like they're a foot too long. <laughs> yeah. The the he's got like eight proportions. The the animations are bad. The faces are terrible. Uh, oop, need to go down there. Uh, the textures in many parts are... You know, from five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, most of these textures here look alright. These look pretty good. 
Though I think also, so we're playing on my computer. Yeah. So that we can record this, and you've been playing on your computer. Sure. Which is still really good, but only like ever so slightly less powerful. And uh, if it carried your, that that was a turret. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it carried your options over. Yeah. Uh, and if it did, you were playing on medium textures. Was I? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is high now. So that could be part of it, but yeah. How do I still, have medium yeah. shouldn't be terrible. Well, yeah. You would think if medium is terrible, then what is low? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I guess I should be clear. We're playing this on PC. It's mm -hmm. so not obvious. Which it probably isn't, because it's got all the button prompts and everything. So this is one of the hacking games. You have to match the uh, the waves. It's about as fun as it looks. Oh God! Which is not at all. <laughs> McCoy, we got your samples. Anything else? I think I have all I need. The dialogue. Uh. The shuttle bay and help get some of these people to safety. Already on my way. Spock, the base has become The writing isn't great, but Chris Pine's doing a pretty good job. He he and and Zachary Quinto do the best of all of the actors. Yeah. Uh. Some really phone it in, like Zoe Saldana really phones it in. She's a Uhura. Yeah. Shut that guy in his lizard wiener. <laughs> I mean, parts of this game, it's a kind of nice part of particle effects. Yeah. Should probably take cover since it's a. Maybe it's just my fancy new cover monitor, based uh, shooter. Well, maybe, yeah. Is he down? Well, everything got all desaturated. What's yeah. that mean? That's just the smoke. Oh. That he threw up, or the little smoke. <laughs> Ninja smoke bomb. He regurgitated the smoke yep. bomb. <laughs> so those guys are Gorn, right? They're Gorn, and that's really unfortunate it took because. Some liberties. Yeah. Well, I mean, also, uh, that, that's, I, you know, I guess. I, I, that's, I, I could care neither here nor there about the actual design of the Gorn, but they're just a... a what are you doing, Spock? They're just a... a f they're... they're a th Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to hack that. Okay. That's fine. Oh, no, you told him to move, too. I guess, yeah. Um, they're the locust. They're the, you know, generic... A lizard monster oh, really? that you fight. They, they, I mean, that's all they are. Like they're just the locust from Gears of War. Yeah, they're just you know waves of of lizard monsters, and then Starfleet zombies, which are really hard when they get really close because there's no melee until you stun them first. Oh, really? Yeah. So you gotta stun them and then melee them. I got vaporized. Try again, uh, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how are you stunning guys? Uh, it's an alternate fire. Right, oh, okay. right button to stun, and then trigger is trigger is. Uh, well, <laughs> I didn't know Vulcans could do that. Yeah, that's uh, only in the only in the reboot universe. Oh, okay. Green blood, super strength, and. Trans... Parent, parent, no. Yeah. Trans... Whatever. He's actually a hologram, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oops. <clears throat> whatever you say ways. for trans object. Yeah. <laughs> trans laser. <laughs> <laughs> that grenade, yeah. Those do come in handy. Wait, so you pick up ammo? I I've been that seeing was a you pick up ammo automatically, but you have to hit a button to pick up grenades? Yes. What sense does that make? None. <laughs> uh, I should have explained this earlier. You have a tricorder view, which uh, oh, yeah. uncovers things and allows you to ha hack. And uh, allows, it, mean, it allows you to pick up the audio logs, which, of course, this game has because... Of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> was was that was him standing still in the doorway? Was that him hacking the mine? Oops! 
No, that was him uh, being stupid AI, <laughs> because that's also something that happens in this game. <laughs> it's really bad AI, both on the second player and on the enemies. Like, where, where is he? I don't even know where he is now. <laughs> he never came through the door, I think. Well, he can stay back there. I yeah, hate these flying things, which are straight out of Halo 4. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's really the thing about this game. It, it, it is one big pile of... derivity. I mean, it... it... Oh, how? <laughs> I see another one. Hey, there's Puck. Did I get that guy? Okay. This game, I mean, just watching this, is, I, I don't get motion sick from video games ever. This is kind of making me motion sick. I don't know what it is. Like, it's the way the camera yeah. moves. It's just everything is so jumpy. There's nothing smooth about the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, when you aim, like, that zoom is way too quick. Yeah, and like, like, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'm just nitpicking now, but... God. <laughs> no, the, 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 nitpick all you want, because... <laughs> Oop. I'm gonna pick up one of these other guns here, and... Rattler? Is that what that was called? Gorn gun. Gorn gun. Um. Yeah, you were talking just a minute ago about how just how goddamn derivative this game is in every single facet. Mm hmm. This is like. Fails to impress me. This game, it it has. The, I mean, I don't know if this is a commendable thing, but it's got like every mechanic from every triple a game yeah. of this generation of video games yeah it's like seventh generation video game the, the video game, game yeah <laughs> it's really crazy i mean it's got it's got the the co-op stuff and you know co-op door opening yeah always always fun it's i haven't got, even played it co-op for real yet um with another I'm person i'm playing this game with you i don't blame you I don't even want to play this game for for shits and giggles. Yeah, I'm maybe it's about mostly shits. I'm maybe about halfway through, uh, and I. Yeah, you were saying you. I seriously doubt going to uh, it. I'm going to finish it. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Because I don't, I don't care. We made this video now, so you can go back to your computer. When yeah. This video is over and delete it from your hard drive and never play it again. <laughs> yeah. It served its purpose. Yeah. As content for, and well, as our continuing coverage of every of, Star Trek game ever made. Yeah, good what or you, bad. What do you? That seems really dumb to look at the wall. We retain the element of surprise. Mostly bad. I think so far they've been all bad. <clears throat> Have yeah. we played a good one? Uh, Star Trek Online's pretty good. Okay, but oh. <laughs> um, but do Is there a here. thing hiding in the back there? Oh, see, so you gotta follow the The power line Oh Yeah, um Yay. Just listing off all the shit that's in the I mean, hacking Hacking minigame Audio logs Mm-hmm What else is in here that I was Uh, well the fact that it's a third-person shooter, I mean... <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That's, uh... Oh, it's got upgrades? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that was this one. It's got straight-up skill trees. Yeah. You're getting experience points. Yep. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> Don't this even want to read the stuff, you know? <laughs> this is like video games by the numbers. Well, it's video game by committee, and that's why it has everything in it. Yeah. Because the the twenty people who decided what was going to be in this game all 
you know, like, oh, well, it's got to be third person. That's what the kids like, right? Oh, it's got to have audio logs. That's what that Bioshock thing has. Or, oh, it's got to have a skill tree because that's what the kids like. And, you know, it's just... I don't know. I almost think you're giving it too much credit by saying that. I think yeah. that was more thought than that was put in. This yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, that's a real asshole thing to say, but... No, I mean, Digital Extremes deserves to be criticized for this crappy-ass game. Yeah, <laughs> they can make better games. They can, and they have. You made it. Uh, but this the game... Darkness 2 was fantastic. Yeah. Well, maybe not fantastic. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that game. Yeah. Escape improbable for the entire crew. Uh, but this... This doesn't pass muster on any level. Everybody on that shuttle. Let's move, move, move! Commander, Captain, thank you for your help. We'll cover you. Just get your people on that shuttle. Help! <clears throat> I mean, who knows if, you know, the same people are still there. Well, yeah, I don't know anything about that company. Oh, God. Yeah, you weren't kidding about the faces. Yeah. Hey, wait! You can't leave without me! And the, the story is, uh, we haven't really heard much of the story, but it is absolutely forgettable. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, the Vulcans have this... MacGuffin thing that the Gorn steal, and to the Vulcans it's like an unlimited power source, but the Gorn will use it as a weapon or something, and you have to help the sexy Vulcan scientist uh, get it back. <laughs> well, at least it's not. At least it's not the all story. The all story. That's the, uh, ancient race of aliens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that has long since exited. You know, that yeah. has long since been extinct. But still, there's traces of their technology. Mm -hmm. And so they have the, some kind of prophecy the about... The Mass Effect and the yeah, Prometheus. Mass Effect, Halo. Halo, yeah. Your assistance is the last one's longer. Get off of me, Velociraptor! This isn't Jurassic Park, it's a Star Trek! Velociraptor Man. <laughs> it's gonna stand there, Spock? Okay. Man. So, I just got this new... Acer glossy screen monitor. I forget what the ex actual model number is, but we're gonna stick a monitor review. In yeah, here. yeah, it's a really nice monitor. Yeah, we're pretty much God done damn. talking about the games. <laughs> this monitor is so. This monitor makes this game look good. Yeah, I love this monitor so much. It wasn't even that much. No, no, but yeah, it's it's a. Uh... I think it was like HLB23 is the model number. Nope, didn't actually. Yeah, there. if you're looking for a new, if you're looking for a new monitor, <laughs> whoa, I, I highly recommend this one. Yeah. <laughs> Though, uh, of course, that means nothing to anybody watching this video. Well, yeah, it's not uh... unless they're also watching it on the same monitor. <laughs> if that's the case, good for you for buying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say about bad licensed shooter. <sighs> no. Uh, besides, don't buy it. Yeah. Um, even if you're a Star Trek fan. Don't buy it, because I, I am the Star Trek fan. <laughs> Maybe Which, uh, buy it on, on an Super Sale, five dollar yeah. Steam sale. Yeah, that's you know probably the the only uh, the only reason. Yeah, I just hope I hope Digital Extremes already got the money 
I, I'm assuming they they did this under contract. I'm, I'm assuming this was contract work. Sure. The little I know about the video game industry. Yeah, like <laughs> a, li a license game like this would I'm gonna be... make a... Yeah, generally, it's not like Digital Extremes didn't go to whoever and say, Hey, we want to make a Star Trek game. It's yeah. usually like, whoever has the license says, Who can make us this Star Trek game the cheapest? Sure. <laughs> sure. And this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, and, and Digital Extreme said, "Yeah, we'll do it." Yeah, probably. I, you know, again, I'm I'm making an ass of you and me mm -hmm. by assuming. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, that's. I mean, that's generally. At, you know, the developer gets paid, mm -hmm. ah. and so they're done. With yeah. It. So. Hopefully, whether you buy this game or not, which you shouldn't, yeah, <laughs> uh, doesn't hurt Digital Extremes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it would hurt their chances at doing future contracts. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I I I wanted to play this game because we need to. We will. We need to have a video of every Star Trek game. Yeah. Uh, but I also... Pack that keypad. It really bums me out being, uh, super negative. Yeah, about yeah. About a game. I don't, I don't like doing it. No, neither do I, but... You know, I'm such a huge Star Trek fan that... When that Gorn I, is I, orange. That's an orange-ass Gorn. Whoa, where does Gun go? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That, uh, I was gonna say, I I'm such a huge fan that it kind of insults me as a fan when they pump out this garbage, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I'm not afraid to call them out on it. It's like, screw you for taking what I love so much and, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I guess. Well, still, I, I guess I don't want to get into the blame game. Well, yeah. There's the the stories on licensed games are this game even has stealth. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna totally. Uh... Oops. Oop. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that that was. I love that aborted little stinger. Yeah. Did <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this game does have some good uh, stuff like that, though. Just some unintentional, unintentional, comedy. funny things. I do like the Starfleet phaser rifle too. It's pretty cool looking. That is that is pretty cool. <sighs> Where am I going? What am I doing? You're going into a room and shooting some Gorn. Spock hack. Disable that keypad. I am hacking the keypad's controls. <laughs> I am done hacking the keypad's controls. <laughs> I am entering the door attached to the keypad, which I just hacked. <laughs> oh, okay. One, one thing that must be said that absolutely grinds my gears with this game is that... Uh, Spock will remind you of the objective. What? Just did I throw that? I don't. You, there's nothing in his hand. Oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Spock will remind you. Oh damn it! I didn't want to waste that. He he will remind remind you constantly of the objective if you aren't doing it. <laughs> yeah. And I, I thought one of the things advertised about this game is you know the exploration and you get to walk around explore the enterprise and explore his environment and that's great but you have no incentive to do that because every 10 seconds Spock's like yeah. I think we should go go do the thing whatever <laughs> it's like damn it Spock I'm yeah I'm looking for this audio log yeah I'm looking for this little uh, communicator <laughs> I need more I need 10 <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I need my plus 100. <laughs> I... Oh, that's a... That's a, uh... Co-op. Oh, it's a co -op lock. I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. <clears throat> this looks... Really awful. Yeah. Yay! It's also oddly similar to a hack that you have to do, a hacking minigame from uh, Star Trek Online, actually, that I see you doing a lot. Oh, those, those are exponentially more fun than uh, <laughs> than this hack. Oh, another another derivative element is the, the woman on the oh, intercom right. yeah, yeah, yeah. who tells you where to go and what to do. The Cortana yep. or... What's the lady from Gears of War? Anya. Anya, yeah. The Cortanya. Cortanya, yeah. <laughs> clever. You're a clever guy. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's stop playing this game. Okay. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yep, thanks. Whoa. This guy having a seizure or what? <laughs> Physics! <laughs> yeah.